this video is going to be all about a brand new cultivar of Venus flytrap, and that's the MD Butt Cheeks. And it's named after the shape of its traps, which look like butt cheeks, and the MD is just my initials, so there's a reference as to where the cultivar came from. So, this cultivar was found in a Chicagoland orchid nursery in March of this year, 2014. And I've had it for about eight months, and it's consistently produced these kinds of traps. And when I first saw it, I kind of walked right past it because I figured, okay, maybe it's just sick or dying because sometimes when Venus fly traps are neglected, their traps will get deformed. But I figured it was cheap, so I'll buy it and I'll see if it turns into anything cool. And for the past eight months, it's remained stable, which is one of the worries when you get a new cultivar. You don't know if it's going to be stable or not, but so far it's only made these deformed butt cheek shaped traps and each division has made traps and I've had this growing in a terrarium and this in a greenhouse so I'm pretty confident it's not really an environmental thing this is just a really weird mutant trap so butt cheeks was originally about three times as big as this it had uh, petioles about five inches long and then the traps were a pretty good size maybe almost half an inch or three-fourths of an inch but what I did was I separated the rhizome so I could have multiple divisions and so now these are a bit smaller because the rhizome divisions were recovering and regrowing so I hope next year I'll have a sizable plant. I figured that I should talk about what makes this plant so special and unique. So a few of its characteristics are of course it makes these butt cheek shaped traps where the traps have pretty much opened up 180 degrees and you can see it's sort of opening onto itself. And then another thing too is that the coloration is pretty cool because it's a really vivid pink and I brought this red piranha to compare it to and you can see that the color is a lot more bright pink and sort of saturated on the traps than something like a typical red clone. Now this plant cannot catch any insects and some people don't like that because they say, oh, what good is a fly trap if it can't catch any insects? But I just think this is such a weird mutant, it's worth cultivating. And these traps, they actually can close. Now, the trigger hairs are curly, so they don't really function. You can touch this as much as you want and the traps aren't going to close. Although, when they're developing and they're still really young and they haven't opened up, completely and you trigger them and it can actually close but once the traps get mature and they go to their fully open position they're not going to be closing anymore the petiole on this plant also gets deformed so you can see kind of here it's sort of uh, got this taco shape so it's sort of just kind of rolled in onto itself too Another thing that'll happen sometimes is that on the very top of the petiole, it'll develop scaling. And what that means is that pretty much it has these growths on its leaves, which look like scales. This cultivar has proven to be really, really vigorous because it can't catch any insects and it's been divided. Pretty much I ripped its rhizome apart and it's regrown all these new plants. So this is an extremely vigorous cultivar.